What's up folks and welcome to the morning talk show. This is your boy Kladsman. And in this session I'll be talking about Rukana Rise, the EP that came out um, almost around the time that uh, Trukana uh, oil was discovered in Trukana and it's just, it was just a feel of how would it be like for someone living in Trukana at that particular time. So um, I'll discuss the EP um, in this session and um, I'll start off by looking at the tracks that are in there, like the, the initial track which is the intro, uh, starts off by calling out the boys and the girls in the hood to come to leave their dads and mom's homes to just go out there and make their own money, you know, and um, live their own lives and, and better their own lives. And then that track is followed by Zimo. Zimo is, is a concept of, Zimo just means to be put off just like fire. So it's um it's 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 a way that talks about all those who are looking down upon upon us are going to be put off Mitazimo. So you know that kind of a concept, stuff like that. Then it's followed by Ukiwa Ready Nisho. Ukiwa Ready kinda like talks about my life experience ever since um the plane touched down in Heathrow. Uh my life made a three sixty ton. So talks about my life experience in the UK, the kind of jobs that I used to do. Uh, there's even a time I think I worked in a young offenders uh, prison. I'd gone there as a kitchen porter. So it just talks about that, you know, real life stuff, what people experience when they go out there. And uh, it was just kind of like bringing that out as well. <clears throat> and then also there's a section of it that addresses my mom as well, you know, uh, uh, she she actually left us in 2012 so it talks a bit about yeah you know this is my life this is what I've gone through so when you're ready just let me know what's about to happen what will happen next and stuff like that so it's kind of like a sad track uh, as well as informative track on what's happening there's a video on that as well uh, on YouTube and then it's followed by um, a track called All Right. All Right came out uh, during the times when Obama visited Kenya. It was kind of just like an open boundaries kind of thing, like the normal boundaries, it's all right now, we can do our thing. You know, even there was a time, um, there was a time uh, Mark Zuckerberg also came to Kenya and he was eating ugali and fish. You know, it's kind of like just all right, you know, things are just all right, things are balancing and stuff like that. So. President are shaking hands, the boundaries are open and it was just kind of like um, enabling people to say this is all right, Trukana is rising, things are happening and you know good things are coming our way and stuff like that. Then we also have Injendani, Injendani is in out, in out just means the yin yang of society whereby there's always an input and an output you know. Uh, uh, an effect and a cause, a cause and an effect and things like that. So the yin yang of society, but it kind of like just elaborates it from a, a neutral point of view, uh, where you can say maybe I'll leave my house, then I'll come back to the house later after going to hustle out there. I'll go into an office, I'll come out, you know, I'll get into a vehicle, I'll come out. While I'm driving, I'll go into a lane and I'll come out. So it's kind of like um, just elaborates on how people go into things and they come out of things as well. Even relationships, you get into a relationship, then you come out of a relationship. So things are just like that, the yin yangs of society. And it talks generally about that in a layman's terms. All right. Then there is uh, Dunia He. Dunia He is kind of deep. talks about um, it's against racism, it's against uh, abortion. Uh, whereby you know everybody needs to be given a chance in life to live their own lives it addresses sugar mommies addresses sugar daddies so different concepts that are in and out of this particular um, lifestyle that people encounter from time to time so dunya he means this world this world is being addressed in that particular track all right so the the dark the, the dark side of the world and the brighter side of the world as well all right then we have rise rise now uh, is um it featured dominion of pid 
rises like nitabaki niki rise i'll i'll remain rising okay i'll still be rising and rising and rising atam kikejeli even if you look down upon me i'll still be rising and rising and rising so it's kind of like um it's a track that was just addressing some of my uh, folk some of my friends who uh were always bringing chaos in in my life you understand they always trying to like put me down they tell me oh so and so said this about you and all that i didn't really care i just said no matter what they say i'll just keep rising i'll just keep rising and all that so and then it's followed by so so means big so is um my flow yangu so like my flow is big the things i'm doing are huge my concepts are big and all that um, in a previous video and i was doing the shout outs i talked about it and so is a is a is a truck that actually was performed by tio tio the dance the dance crew as well uh i guess they're from russia or something then we have welcome to nairobi welcome to nairobi is um, a truck that touches different um uh, Kony Kony aspects about Nairobi, you know, yeah, about the the girls in Nairobi, the traffic cops in Nairobi, talks about the preachers, talks about you know the people you meet in the streets and all that, the concept what what goes on there and all that. Uh, it talks just about it in a in an interesting way. Uh, that is also something that uh, uh, maybe you can watch out for when you listen to the track. Then you also have overload overload um i did it with ill wit all right overload is just memory overload kind of like na, na band 64 bit 64 gb 32 terabytes 12 gigahertz na nyako i so it just talks about how we have enough concepts to overload your memory no matter how much you throw at us so uh it just shows the the way you know we are not limited in life you know okay we we can we can always do whatever we can do whatever we want to put ourselves to do to be doing in life and stuff like that so when you look at it in a positive way it also encourages you to just do you be you go for whatever you want in life do whatever you want to do in life and stuff nobody's going to stop you yeah and then we have haita why happen featuring jaziri haita why happen just means it will never happen no matter how much they try to bring us down they'll never succeed okay so they'll never bring us down so that is the haita why happen track and then the last one was hey mystery um i did that with donchi hey mystery is just an outro kind of like a feel good a uh, track uh, on top of that so that's about it um <clears throat> thank you for watching and uh, that's the album to kind of rise it's slightly short it was only 13 tracks because I had a lot that was happening in my life back then that was in 2012 and um my main target of maybe getting it to about 19 tracks did not work well and I said because I was not going to do some music for quite a bit again then I just left it at that so I really appreciate your presence here thank you for watching and I hope uh, to see you again sometime soon please do subscribe and hit the like button and we'll see you next time be well and be blessed clutch man kahazi toshi yeah 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 y